In 2016, I began a conversation with the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist, and about the possibility of doing a school and doing a very specific school here at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Walsingham. As we began talking, we realized that we're saying the same things. We're approaching this very much in the same way. They have a tradition to bring to bear. We have a tradition to bring to bear. The complementarity between the Ordinariate and the Dominican Sisters is really beautiful because the Ordinariate's mission at its heart is evangelization, the evangelization of people through culture and through worship. And the mission of the Dominican Sisters is educational witness. We bring our expertise, we bring our professional training, our vision for the education of the whole person. We bring that to the table. The school will be located on the cathedral campus and it will be adjacent to the existing chancery and the architecture of the school will look very English. It will look very much close to the patrimony of Our Lady of Walsingham. The building is integral to the culture. The building is going to be beautiful. The building will be the maximum size because the building is the home. The building forms the students. So the mission of the school is to build Catholic culture through the four pillars of sacred wisdom, sacred worship, sacred music, and sacred art. The academic program of the high school is going to be based on a classical curriculum. There's an emphasis on the liberal arts, um, and on the humanities, but also we will have a robust science program. But we also have two programs that are probably unique to Cathedral High School, and that is the Sacred Music and the Sacred Art program. The students will take music all four years, and they will also take some sort of art four years. And this will provide for an education that will form the whole student. Formation is bigger than education. Formation looks to form first a relationship between the young person and Jesus Christ, because that more than anything else will sustain that young person throughout their whole life. And so the sacramental life will be lived fully at Cathedral High School. Mass will be celebrated daily. Confession will be available daily. There's something that happens to a, a person day in and day out as they kneel before the altar of God to see the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ and to receive Christ on a daily basis. And it changes who they are. That change, the work of the Holy Spirit, that's what I'm looking forward to. The capital campaign is a uniquely important moment for the school, not only because we have to build the physical structure of the school, but in order to do this kind of intense program of formation, we realize that the building needs to be built alongside of a foundation, an endowment that will continue to fund the school in a way that allows a certain financial independence and also allows, frankly, financial aid and a competitive tuition structure where this school can be truly an offering to everyone and not just to the limited few who have the resources. All along this process, all along this discernment, we have prayed and we have asked our Lord, guide this. If this is what you want, we will do this. All along the way, the doors have continued to be opened. And at this point, we hope that many people will get involved with this project and will show a generous interest in making it possible for us to open our doors to students in August of 2022. So that's my main thing. We want as many people involved as possible. <laughs>